I was fascinated by the number of remarkable instruments that people play and how they play them. And I just thought of this project as something like growing music, because that's what we do all around the world. I came in with that same kind of passion in, in, in the idea of creating music that would connect to science and culture and all basically the curriculum and we've also worked on this idea of creativity in education, how do you bring that back? So we started um, by um, sourcing the bamboo locally, so going to garden centres. You um, get a piece of bamboo and we measured it to the correct size and then we had to cut them all at the first line of the nodule so that you'd get the um, block get bit, this bit. Then we had to like sand it so it wouldn't hurt our lips when we blow into it. So then Maurizio taught us how to do a three knot and then um, I think somebody would test out. And then we tuned them. Sometimes you might need it a bit higher than it actually is, so you put more plasticine in to get like, the right name. This is the first phase of growing music, and we've been really lucky to come and work with Shaw School and with Carol Sampi, who uh, won an award for her science teaching this year. They get a, a huge amount, actually. They don't realise when they're learning because there's so many different aspects to it, and actually it was an awful lot. Um, on paper to try and teach the children but it came quite naturally because they could see all of the links between the various uh, things that we were looking at and their questions also led on to other things that we wanted to find out about. Because Maurizio is Colombian we've been learning about Colombia and so we, um, I really enjoyed that and we got to do lots of research and it was really fun. For me, the important thing too, apart from the science and music, is all the other cross-curricular elements in the project. To, to have these memorable experiences for children is really important. The children have been engaged with what's been going on right from the very beginning, planting the bamboo, making the pan pipes, and today performing to their parents. There's a real kind of way of integrating um, education, so they not only get to learn about facts and, and, and how plants grow so from the biology onto the materials, the properties of the materials, the uses of these uh, materials, bamboo being and such an amazing um, material to learn about. Our teacher um, lets go away and find at least 101 things that could be made out of bamboo and some of them were quite surprising because you could find things out like parts of cars and scaffolding. As part of our science we do measure and water the bamboo and I learnt that bamboo is a sort of grass and it can grow up to like really really high. We've also learnt about vibration in science so we've learnt that for example um, when you blow up against the top of each bamboo pipe and um, the air inside it vibrates it isn't the pipe I really enjoyed everything because you, you get to learn new things and bamboo for me was just a plant that pandas ate. I didn't really know that it could be used for so many things. I've enjoyed um, making the pan pipes because it was something new, making a new instrument and um, it was quite like hard sometimes but that, that was something enjoyable. Being with your friends and making things with them and like you get to like you get to play music and you get to like do loads of fun things so <laughs> I think one of the the loveliest things in the project for me was actually this afternoon watching 50 children come together to play each with their own instrument but playing harmonies melodies together that you know, five days ago they couldn't and what is amazing is that they begin to play the instrument way before uh, they actually know how it's played or anything so that is actually very exciting to see, oh, okay, they got it.